All right, right at one minute, I think, everywhere. Okay, so at one minute, we're ready to... Oh. 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 That's good, too. How's my hair? Looks nice. Do I look radiant? So radiant. (laughs) Thank you. Yeah. Such radiant. (laughs) So wow. (laughs) Such radiant. Wow. The dojo over here. (laughs) All right. Well, uh, welcome back to Jeff and Jaish. Uh, Once again, Jeff is... He's in Missoula for Thanksgiving. He's in Missoula always. Um, True, but, but there for specifically for the Thanksgiving <laughs> mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. So unable to make it for the podcast. That's okay. We just celebrated Thanksgiving. Nathan here filling in again. Thanks, Nathan. You're welcome. Hey, it's, it's good to be here. Yeah. I came in hot with a Christmas tree. You did, tree. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's official Christmas season. It's right after Thanksgiving. I've already listened to some Christmas music. Same. Um, you really? Yeah. Oh, One, 116, you know that group of rappers? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came out with a Christmas rap album. Yep. So I've been listening to that a little bit. Hang on. Quick shout out. Elise <laughs> Moon just texted me. Quick question. Do you recommend your new yellow futon? <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do we recommend? I, I like it. I like yeah. it. It's nice. It's kind of hard. Yeah. It it's is. a little um, harder than I would have expected. Yeah. Right. But I've slept on it a couple times when I was sick and didn't want to like infect Madison. Yes. And it was fine. Yeah. Like it's a little short sure. for like right, a six right. foot dude to long. sleep on. Mm-hmm. But it, this part goes down. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, it's yeah. nice. I feel like 200 bucks, honestly, on Amazon. Can't mm-hmm. go wrong. Sure. No. I'm going to tell her that. Okay. That's Elise, <laughs> thanks for asking. Our <laughs> just, first ever on the air question. <laughs> could, you just, could you just say why, why are we podcast? on the air? <laughs> podcast tomorrow. <laughs> to find out. We just answered on the air. <laughs> okay. That's the, probably the best way to reply right. to a text like we'll that. We'll link our product below. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah, okay. Products used in this episode. <laughs> With our Amazon affiliate link, <laughs> which I don't have. I have, I have one of those sponsor. now, so hey. Do you really? Yeah. Wow. Maybe we could start making some money. No one's exactly. going to buy this couch from our podcast. <laughs> um, but at yeah. least might. But. Yeah, might. Oh, yeah. At least use our Amazon affiliate <laughs> link. Yeah. We'll get 10 cents. <laughs> um, but. Well, I had a question for you guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you guys know where this is probably going already based on previous discussions today. Okay. Have mm-hmm. any of you been in a car accident before? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Yes. Nope. No, Austin. Mm-mm. Austin, you, you are haven't like been. The nationwide so, like, is on your side. <laughs> progressive best friend. safe driver discount would love you right now, mm-hmm. or they'd hate you because they can't make any money off That's of your the, safe yeah, driver. Exactly. Like never a fender bender. No, not in the a little cruncho in the Walmart parking lot. Mm-mm. Nothing. Nothing. You, you haven't like backed up into anything. No. Nope. Even like not a vehicle. A, yeah. No. Wow. wow. I don't know. Congrats. I think. Okay. Let's hear. I think I bumped my license plate on a concrete divider when I was parking once. Okay. Oh, yeah, I just was like yeah. creeping and was like, doink, doink. I was like, ah. <laughs> and back up just a tiny bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I lost but, my license plate to a snowbank once. Oh, no. <laughs> so. I backed up into a fire hydrant once. Ooh. ooh. Did you pop the hydrant? <laughs> I didn't. No, I just saw the thud. I was like, what was that? And then I pulled forward. I was like, ooh. <laughs> I backed up into a trailer that was for... um like the lawn crew that oh, yeah. mows all the lawns here. Yeah. I just backed right up into their trailer and crunched my back bumper. Nice. It was like $700 for an aftermarket bumper. Nice. Ouch. It's crazy. Yeah. And then the ne- then like two months later, I was at Bridger and somebody crunched that exact same bumper and no. just left. So I went like the rest of, I decided I'd just go the rest of college without fixing yeah. it because I'm going to get scraped and bumped a right. ton. And then I college. fixed I fixed the front and back bumper once. Yeah. But anyways. Word. Yeah. I hit a tree once. That was probably the uh-huh. worst accident I had. Oh, really? I was racing Landon Gossick it, home. Drive, like the front? You hit it in the front? So I was racing or? down Trooper Trail. Okay. Up by uh, the... Um, you know the, where that is. Where the Gannons Gannon asked you to drive slow? Yes. And this was before <laughs> they had even paved uh, it. So it was... it was uh, Nice dirt road. Nice dirt road. Yep. And I, I was coming around a curve, coming in too hot. Yep. Uh, slid off the side of the road, hit a pine tree uh, sideways, yeah. uh, lost my headlight, crunched up. It was a 1991 Park Avenue Buick. Oh, copper. Nice. Classic car right there. Crunched yeah. it all up. Had to take my dad's truck up there, go find the headlight. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, did you find the headlight? I did. Nice. But it wasn't working. So right, we got a obviously. new one, put it back in. <laughs> we actually hooked the front of the hood to my dad's little lawn tractor and pulled it back out because the whole bumper was inside in the front of the hood. Nice. Got a rubber mallet, fixed it all up. Nice. It's great. Sold awesome. it. Those people drove it into a ditch. So oh, nice. <laughs> beauty. beauty. But none of this compares to what you right. did. I, um, before I say anything, <laughs> I just want to, Lane's going to listen to this and cry. <laughs> Lane, please don't be too sad. <laughs> um, the pickup still drives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and there seems to be no internal 
major damage. There's no internal bleeding. There's no internal bleeding. Nothing's leaking. No Good. body damage. No there fluids was, on the ground. Right. Afterwards, um, none that I found. Good. So, um, yeah, don't freak out too much, Lane. I bought my pickup from Lane. That's why I feel like he might be sad yeah. about this. But friend of the show. Um, yesterday, son of. Jeff. Son of Jeff, actually, yeah. Lane, son of Jeff. (laughs) Jeff's son. (laughs) Yes, but he was the original owner of that, what is it, 93? 98, 1998 Dodge Dakota. Yep. um, 5.2 V8. It's a nice truck. With four-wheel drive on it. Yep. My dad's got one in. Yeah. Four screen. Yeah, it's a super fun truck. Yeah. Drives well, Uh, half ton. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gets places, carries stuff. Gets places, can carry a couch. Yeah, have you carried so, a couch in it? I have, yeah. We carried a piano in it when nice. it was still Lane's. I actually fit a couch and a mattress on there once. Um, it was pretty sketch. Yeah. We, we had everything strapped the heck down. It was pretty ballin' though. <laughs> it was sweet. I was like, Good I for love you. having a pickup. Now you're a guy with a truck. Now I'm a guy with a truck. And this truck <laughs> yesterday went into a ditch. Um, it was a, it was bad news. Um, let me tell you. <laughs> so yesterday I was, I was coming back from Augusta. I went home for Thanksgiving to Augusta. As coming, one does. Right, right. You know, go see your mom and your grandparents. How long a drive is that? It's three three hours. Um, okay. So in Montana, we judge distance by hours, yeah. obviously. Mm-hmm. Happens. Um, I couldn't tell you how many miles. I think it's 160, 170 miles, something like that. Mm. Um, roughly. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yep. Carry on. Um, You're making my life bad. <laughs> you don't have to edit that out. It's interesting. Yeah, let's leave it in. <laughs> Josh is killing us with a dead air over here. <laughs> Miles. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Shout out to Canada for that. Sorry. <laughs> so, Collaborators. <laughs> so I was driving back, um, and I was literally as close as you could get before you get into an accident, basically, is what it comes down to. I was on Alaska Road just off the um, airport in- exit at Belgrade. Mm-hmm. You know, so... Um, I'm literally five miles from my house or something like that. Five or 10 miles, mm-hmm. probably 10 ish. I don't know how far it is to my house. Okay. But, um, I oh, was driving, so you're coming home I was, from I'm coming home. Okay. Okay. Got I'm it. driving South on Alaska road and I just started sliding on some ice and I was in two wheel drive in a pickup with no weight in the bed. So my bed is flying all over the road and you got to reach way down to stick that right. thing in four. Yeah. Like it's so, hard and to... I was also on the phone. At that time, so I had no hand to reach down there to put it in. <laughs> you described it to me like you were holding right. it. Like I was this. holding my phone like this. I was steering like this. Um, <laughs> I can't tell if that's safer than this. Yeah, this I don't know this. what is safer. I don't know. You know, having it here means you can see your notifications and talk on the phone. All that's the way time. more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> it was more so like I just don't like holding it to my head. You know, okay. you, my face gets sweaty. I know. I get my big um, old greasy face in there, yeah, and I got to wipe it on my pants. It's pretty gross. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So I started sliding all over the road and I was talking to my brother, Dan, and I'm like, Hey Dan, I got to let you go. I'm sliding pretty hard. And then I say, Oh darn. Um, <laughs> this is the censored version. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I'm going off the road and that's the last thing Dan hears. <laughs> okay. And as I do that, I like slide to the opposite ditch. I'm almost turned around at this point. I hit, there's this huge, uh, dirt berm in the ditch. I hit that hard pushes my flips my back end down into the bottom of the ditch somehow i think i hit the bumper hard enough that my airbags deployed (laughs) like front bumper yeah okay front block so you're sliding backwards at this point right right front front bumper hits the (laughs) fluent front bumper hits the hits the berm of the dirt airbags go off i'm sitting there just shook you know (laughs) (laughs) Um, and Cause like I've never had air bla- airbags deploy on me before. I've heard yeah. it's, I heard it's a heck of a time, and it is a heck of a time. Really? Yeah, it, it's a very loud bang. I'm almost convinced it's like gunpowder that it deploys. These it is. Things. It's it some is. sort of explosive. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like kind of smoking, and it smells like stinky, stinky gunpowder. Because they're probably smells. the original airbags right. from '98. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. They they definitely were. They were so old. Um, I can can confirm by looking at them. These old now. crusty airbags. They're very in. old. And um, so I'm like sitting there just shocked. And I step out and I'm just like, what just happened? And the only thought I had was, holy cow, my brother just heard me say, shoot, I'm going into a ditch. Yeah. <laughs> and then didn't hear anything else. Right. <laughs> he thinks I'm dead. <laughs> That's a logical assumption. Um, right. And so, so it was a, it was a scary crash um, for sure. I was very surprised by what happened and felt like a 
dingus for driving too fast on an icy road while talking on the phone in in that truck of all vehicles in, in too. A, yeah in a in a truck that's one of the no more difficult the vehicles to drive right. i think on an icy road yeah absolutely especially when you have no weight and you're not in four-wheel drive you're yeah. gonna fly all mm-hmm. over that sandbags thing. are clutch right which i need to pick up now um so you know you learn your lessons but it was such a bummer i felt like such an idiot i had to get the truck towed out i got a flat tire and it, the mm. tire went off the rim oh because yeah it was so flat yep um and, but I've been doing some look, look seeing in the, look seeing, <laughs> look seeing. <laughs> look, in the inside. I haven't found anything broken. Okay. Tie rods aren't broken. Yep. Um, the alignment's really screwed up right now. Yeah. Um, and this would be a good opportunity for you to put some snow tires on it. It actually has and get your really alignment. good all weather tires on. Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So. So this is purely your fault. The, yeah, abs- <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm getting out of this. Right. I, I wish I could defer blame, but you know, it's entirely my own, okay. own fault for being a reckless driver. Not that reckless, I hope, but just being a knucklehead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know how when you're like, I got so comfortable driving that whole way that I was not thinking like you yeah. should have been on icy roads. Um, so yeah, trying to figure out the costs of repairing stuff, obviously deployed airbags, fixing those is expensive. Taking to yeah. the shop, it's going to cost three or four grand to replace those. Or I could replace it myself and have a heck of a time getting frustrated. Um, that seems hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I do. Um, you should talk to Wayne Walker. I was thinking about talking to Wayne or John Kleinsaucer. Yeah. Shout out John. He yeah. knows cars. Yeah. Really well. Um, and yeah, it was really, I think I was more shocked because the airbags deployed and it just seemed like a bigger deal. Looking at my truck now, like you look at it, it out visibly from the outside it doesn't look like anything happened sure the inside is just a mess there are dried apples that my grandma gave me all over the back Mm. um there are two deployed airbags in the front that i still haven't cut out i don't really know if you just cut them out if that's oh so you've been driving around with them just hanging (laughs) out (laughs) 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 all right i drove it for the first time today okay um and one of the fan blades is slightly bent. I need to make sure it's not hitting anything. It kind of sounded like it might be. Fan hitting. blade where? Like the fan blade in front of the radiator. Okay, okay. It's not hitting the radiator, but there's some wire, let's say some hose that it might be nicking. And I'm like, that's not good. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hoses Slowly cut your hose open. And yeah. Obviously, the fluids are important in your truck, especially up by the radiator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So, got to figure that out. Yeah. But, boy, it was pretty scary. But, I mean, the fact that. I was going pretty fast when I hit that ditch. Yeah. I didn't roll the truck. The truck has no damage. Um, it seems to be driving well. Um, I'm not Good. hurt. Yeah, I'm, I was going to say, like, I'm really glad you're okay. Yeah. Because like, that would be, I mean, not to bring it down, but right. like that would be the worst. Right. If you had died in a car wreck. Oh, yeah. That'd I be, don't know. That would be terrible. Oh, yeah. You know, that's that's a like, I mean, I, from small towns, you hear about, um, I mean, all the small towns seem to know each other, and you hear about all the crashes. That happened. I know of a number of people that have died in small towns in car crashes and, and they're like high school age or just out of high yeah. school. And it's like, it'll rock a community pretty hard. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Um, and so, you know, I can definitely say I'm just thankful for God's grace that I, I was able to walk away. Yeah, I have a little whiplash in my neck. I woke up this morning. I was like, my neck is sore. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's because I, I jostled around pretty hard and some airbags went off. Yeah, um, that'll do it. So... <laughs> Yeah, it was, I think, more than anything, shocking. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there's, tragic. like, that, that like, second of clarity when you're, like, right. like you said, you just told your brother, I'm going in the ditch. Like, you know it's happening, and you're just, like, uh-oh. Yeah, it's, like, and I have just, no control over happens. anything anymore, and I'm, I'm just, like, just try to not let anything happen. I felt the, the truck tipped slightly to my left once, and I was, like, oh, gosh, it's going to tip on its side. Mm. and it, But it didn't dip far enough to use all its weight to tip over, which was, yeah, I was relieved, but I was like, then your sandbags was... slide down and flip you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> man, imagine how terrifying it'd be to flip a vehicle. Oh or man. Roll one. And that's what I think I got mm. more nervous about was like, what if this flips mm-hmm. and rolls or something? And the last thing my brother hears is, oh no, <laughs> that would suck. Um, you know, cause he was forget my phone was totally destroyed. Yeah. Um, Put a I, picture up. Yeah. Josh's phone picture of you'll, the car and the phone. Yeah, You'll mm-hmm. see pictures of car high end or high centered on a berm in a ditch and the phone just destroyed. That's kind of impressive to me though, that like your car seems to be in better working condition oh, yeah. than your phone. Yeah. I am on yeah. my old iPhone six now because the, how could you, what a peasant. I know. I'm That's the worst. Stinking 
pleb now. <laughs> iPhone six. <laughs> Can like, you believe it? I think oh it's a six S, so it's not. It's old. <laughs> what an opulent living we all have. <laughs> right. To be like, man, yeah. I'm, on I'm on my, my iPhone, iPhone six. six. And <laughs> uh, like, there was a part of me that was like, I had to be on this for a year because you know, you oh sure, phone, two year. Payment you still got to pay off that yeah. broken thing. And so <laughs> I was like, I have a year on this iPhone six. I'm like, wait. To I be honest, phone that, it sounds like your screen is just broken. Yep. And right. you can get screen replacements. Well, it's, it's the whole back deal that's just shattered. And well, so the front maybe screen. The, you said know. the screen wouldn't turn on. Right. It doesn't turn on because of something in the back that's okay. all damaged. Oh, so the front's not shattered. Right. The front's not shattered at all. Oh. Um, you know, the iPhone has the glass back. Yeah. And it's missing mm-hmm. half the glass. Okay. And the other half shattered. And there's bits and pieces of other things inside the phone that I don't know what they are. Okay. That I can see. Well, there's a new phone know. repair shop that opened oh. right next to me. And then there's also well, Gadget Fix. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah. But I, I'm like, if there's costs to be paid here it's probably going to this truck more right, so than anything exactly. else right now mm-hmm. yeah because I, I have a working phone yep mm-hmm. i'm like whatever it, it works it's old but it works yep so that'll do yeah and i have a stack of phones in my office if you kill that ah, one too word nice <laughs> <laughs> I, I write apps oh so yeah I have so tons you have of phones. tons of phones so every time there's an amber alert it is terrifying oh, in there oh my dude. all of them at the same time yeah Oof. but That's fine. i'm aware at that point <laughs> word Word. Word. Well, glad you're okay, Josh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thanks thankful. for still making it here. Right. What a it's, champion. It, I am. Wrecked yeah. your car on Saturday, filmed the podcast on Sunday. Man, my Saturday was a pretty long day. I tell you what. Yeah, no you kidding. Know, towing a truck out, replacing the tire, mm. checking everything. It was what like, time did all this happen? Um, I, I wrecked around 1120 in the morning. Okay. I was coming back for the game. You know, oh, the, the MSU did you Bobcats, make it the game? No. It started oh, at one. Dang it. The MSU Bobcats played in a playoff football game. That they won. Shout out Cats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Way to go. They're going to North Carolina, right? North Dakota. Or North Dakota? Yeah. Yeah, no, one no, of those, there's one a bit of a difference. Super <laughs> close to each other. It's yeah. all good. Um, so I was coming back for that, and I was super pumped because I was. It was like the game kicks off at one. I wanted to get there early. I was gonna be at my house a little after eleven thirty. I was like, "This is perfect," and then I crashed. Yeah, I was like, "This is not perfect." <laughs> nope. And so that was the rest of my day. Was okay, just figuring dealing that with out. That. Um, the highway patrolman. Shout issue. out. No, not not shout out to highway patrol this what? time. I know. Usually, I would love to shout out the law enforcement. I. Appreciate law enforcement a lot. I, yeah, I've only had good interactions with law enforcement Actually, other than the MSU cops. Right. <laughs> but gonna, no one's had a good uh, interaction with that. Yeah. I had a, uh, zero interaction, actually. Oh, so they didn't happened, come at all. Well, no, they, so here's what happened. First thing I did was, okay, I'm not hurt. This isn't an emergency. I don't need to call 911. Okay. Um, yeah. and, I, and I couldn't. My phone was broken. Um, <laughs> Fair. Uh, so this very nice gentleman driving a pickup with a plow on the front drove me back to my house. Um, shout out to Greg. Greg. You're the man. Come yeah, on the show. Greg is his name. He's Orthodox. Oh, uh, really? Just, yeah, we had a conversation about Good interview yeah. opportunity. It would be, yeah, it was fun. Cool. Meeting him. Um, invited me to the Orthodox Church. Maybe I'll check it out sometime. Just the one right of, next to here? Yeah. Beth something? Beth something? That's, that's the synagogue, actually. Yeah. I think. Um, no, he's the Christian Orthodox. Oh, yeah. got it, got um, it. There's a small Orthodox congregation. Okay, there. we're getting off track here. We are. <laughs> drove you um, to your house. So drove me to my house. I started calling people. I called the Gallon County sheriff's office because i didn't know who to call well first did you call your brother first yes yeah okay. i called my brother and my mom and my other brother because he heard me crash and then he was freaking out okay so once i had a functioning phone i used my roommate scott's for a little bit shout out scott for helping me shout out, out scott come on the show too. a lot of people shout outs to everyone who helps everyone come on the show <laughs> <laughs> um so anyway i um yeah started calling everybody then i called the sheriff's office they rerouted me to highway patrol Mm-hmm. Um, I would talk to a dispatcher. She's like, okay, we sent it. Since you're not there, we still send a cop out there to check it out. He'll give you a call. Um, three hours later, I still had not received a call from the highway patrolman. Um, so we get out there. I'm, I'm with Drew Fowler. Shout out to Drew. Drew. <laughs> Come on, on the, the show. show. <laughs> Seriously though. <laughs> yeah, I would love to have Drew, Drew Kalen. Kalen. That'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we're out there. We call the tow truck. He hauls us back in. He actually, when he got there, he's like, oh, I see your airbags are deployed. Have highway patrolmen been out here? I'm like, because apparently if airbags deploy, they need to be there huh. to check stuff out. Um, I said, I called. They said they check it out. That was three hours ago. They said me give a call. I never got one. So he called dispatch as well. Found out an officer had been there, but never gave me a call. Oh, okay. Which was kind of low. It's like, I just need to know if you guys were out there and yeah. if you need a statement or anything. He calls you, but he sees um, his broken phone ringing in the right. car. He's like, well. <laughs> this isn't going to Well, I actually gave them Scott's number. And okay. I was holding on to Scott's phone. Because oh, okay. I knew that was a functioning phone I had. Oh, so you took Scott's phone. For a little bit, yeah. Um, Shout out Scott. Yeah, he was coming in clutch. Yeah. Um, okay. So he had been called. there, though. He had been there. But I, I just kind of thought I needed to tell him, yeah, I just lost control of the vehicle and slid off the road. Yeah. I just needed to give a statement. Never gave one. Okay. Um, and then, um, so that... 
So the dispatch told the tow truck driver, yeah, he'd been out there already. He was like, okay, well, at least he'd been out here, seen seen everything. Yeah. Because um, basically, you just see a car in a ditch, <laughs> slid off the road. That's what happened. Right. That's all he needed to know. But um, then the dispatch called him again as we were driving the truck back to my house, apparently, and said that the officer then went off duty, so you're totally safe to move it. Because okay. there's just some weird rules about moving it and stuff. Okay. But he just never contacted me about... Asking me what had happened. It's pretty um, obvious what happened yeah. here. This yeah. boy. This boy is a <laughs> reckless driver. <laughs> he looks like an Augusta boy to me. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of a bad non-interaction with Highway Patrol. You'd think they'd want to talk to the driver of the vehicle. Just never really did. Yeah. Um, which was kind of a bummer. But other than that, everything went really smoothly. Yeah. Um, the truck is fine, was, Lane. Yes, truck is fine. Good. And it's just the steps of figuring out how to... Do airbags, insurance, all that stuff. Glass is good? Windshield's good? Yeah. Uh, no glass is shattered. Hmm. Uh, Frame isn't bent? As far as I can tell. Okay. Yeah. Just the alignment um, is yeah. pulling pretty hard to the left. That'll so, do. Yeah. That'll do it. There you go. That's my fun weekend story. It was, man, that is a heck of a Saturday. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know, it changes your entire plans for pretty much, I think this week, I'm going to have to be dealing with a lot of this stuff. Mm, probably. Sure. You know, so. Yeah. It's going to be a ordeal well i don't know if you want to count this as a blessing or not but at least you won't have to be dealing with insurance <laughs> since you don't have true i do not have comprehensive coverage i only have the liability for when right. other stuff that doesn't belong to me gets damaged mm-hmm. so um i think i still need to report that i had that happened today. okay so they can increase uh, your rates yeah so i can give them more money perfect <laughs> shout out to geico <laughs> geico <laughs> 15 minutes or more could Pretty cost sick. you 15% more if you get in a wreck. <laughs> I actually found Geico is one of the more expensive ones. Really? Like, they they advertise really hard with that little lizard, yeah. but mm-hmm. man, like, yeah. you know, they are they're, pretty expensive. Their only liability stuff is fairly affordable. Okay, um, all right. I've been paying for it out of pocket. And I guess I was shopping for a more comprehensive two-person yeah. plan, which is right. a little mm-hmm. bit... Oh, yeah, that's got to be costly. So, shout out to Mountain West Farm yeah. Bureau. Yeah, I'm going to have to... You guys are great. Yep. You on that? Start I think so. K-Bright? So. Yep come on the show yeah <laughs> I, mean, I think i need to consider some more comprehensive coverage sponsored by insurance agent of the show that's a little weird but we could, but. We could get sponsored by them though oh yeah could we maybe i could sweet. call k listen they call me all the time so yeah. i feel like i should call them <laughs> they're actually very nice they called me the other day and they were like hey a piece of mail went out to you that's not accurate we just wanted to let you know and i was like thank you i appreciate <laughs> that awesome. like also how does how does that happen like they're like oh we sent this thing out and we didn't mean to and i was like Wait. it takes me so much effort to mail something <laughs> like yeah. you guys just whoops i mailed that <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> okay boys uh in the brief amount of time that we have left i have another installment of mystery con theater Ooh, yeah. have either of you read the script yet i have not no okay wow all right so i, 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 I picked it up and said no i can't do that and <laughs> nice. put it down it's good one. I'm excited. It's short. It's sweet. It's kind of Thanksgiving food related. Oh. So I have this for you. I did. Um, it's a little fuzzy because okay. I had to use the snipping tool because if you just straight copy and paste out of Google chat, it doesn't look great. So mm, sure. anyways, if one of you wants to play the part of Colin, one of you wants to play the part of me. Okay. Um, is I, this this definition here? Is that part of the... That's a thing I sent. Okay. I copy. I sent him this link, but then I copied the contents ah, out of okay. it. So. so you want us to read those contents? Yeah. Well? A little bit of backstory. Um, we have tons of snacks at work. Uh, Colin is my coworker. Uh-huh. And they are um, always looking for new snacks. Usually it's just like someone will go to Costco and then just buy a bunch of food and leave it out. But we're trying a new thing apparently where there's like this um, mail. You, you can like order snacks from a certain company oh sure and so someone had left out a box of a like major variety pack and then we were supposed to vote on which ones we liked the best yeah so that's what was going on at this point at the start of this conversation gotcha so. okay colin do you want to be uh austin <laughs> oh, there you go that's what i meant oh, you could call me colin do i you, can be do colin. you want to be colin sure and i'll be nathan that sounds fun. It's weird that i'm nathan and nathan's sitting next to me <laughs> <laughs> all right i was thinking nathan should just be nathan all right guys roll the intro <laughs> mr colin theater all right let's do this thing and, and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was the best, like, three quarters and of a second. Action, I guess. <laughs> Dude, it's our chance to get meat sticks as a snack. The hashtag Snack Nation box has turkey sticks. What? Not quite Jack Links, but we should vote them up. Maybe someday...
good Alberto sticks from Costco. Be the snack you want to see in the world. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, wow. Uh, be the snack, huh? Question mark. And then a link to Urban Dictionary, which defines snack as a snack is someone who looks good at the moment. Look at that snack over there. He or she looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Colin. <laughs> what? W A T. No, I will not refer to a person like that. How? What? No. Uh, quote, be the snack you want to see in the world, end quote. Colin Moore, 2020. <laughs> It's based off my super original quote, be the change you want to see in the world. <laughs> more snack, more freedom, more puns, more fun. And those, those mores were mores with the double O, as in the last name. And the E. Oh, uh, yes. oh yeah. <laughs> well, normal more has E. Yeah, yes. That's right. Sorry. More snack. Wow. <laughs> be the more <laughs> you want to see more of in 2020. <laughs> Hashtag fire. <laughs> he just puts hashtag fire on stuff. I thought that'd be a good place to end. That there, is amazing. I think that seems like a good place to end that. Yeah. Because that they, quote, though, I don't know, like, how much, um, I, I, I don't know. Snack if you had heard that term before, people refer to someone as a snack. Yeah. But. Kind of, like, oh, that's, she, he or she is tasty kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, kind it, of idea. Yeah. Kind of creeps you out. It's very <laughs> skeezy, like uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah you're like, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> totally understandable Colin hadn't heard of that. But when he hit me with that quote, be the snack you want to see in the world, that just <laughs> All killed me. All you could think was, okay, you're going to be a snack. <laughs> like if he, I asked him if I could tweet that and he said no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but now it's on Mystery Colin Theater. Thank yeah, so it's Colin. on the internet anyway. So, yeah. so, but we're not um, tweeting it, so we're safe. I think all we should do for the description of this podcast now is be the snack you want to see in the world <laughs> that's actually not a bad idea and I, then you're gonna get 20 yeah. minutes of car accidents before you even get to anything about snacks. <laughs> with louis in <laughs> with the mystery call in theater i know because now that i'm trying to decide if i'm gonna like title this episode mystery call in theater or not oh yeah because it was a very small portion right but i did want to actually segue if we had time and i think we got a little bit of time uh the holidays are just ramping up, actually. I was going to say they're over. Thanksgiving oh, yeah. is no, over. No, they're, kick, they're <laughs> working, kicking butt, and taking names with holidays. No. But food is a huge part of American holidays. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know what your guys' favorite snacks are. Ooh. Because this got me... This, oh. I mean, this did come from the whole conversation about a snack box. And they had these really good, like, turkey sticks mm -hmm. in there. Colin's all about... Um, like maximizing protein and calories in sure. his food. Yeah, right. So for him having like not just like, you know, popcorn over there yeah. having like meat sticks was huge. Right. But I don't know if there's anything, I guess it could be like a candy or a snack food or something like that. Like what's your go-to, you know, like, like you're going to settle in, you're going to watch the office okay. for like two hours. What's this? What's your snack you bring? Austin go. Uh, <laughs> I, I had to think for a second. Okay. Y'all ever had munchies? Oh, munchies are good. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great mix of uh, like pretzels, sun chips, Doritos. Yep. <gasps> oh, tasty. yes, I have. Some other so stuff? Tasty. Yes. I do, are all of those things made by the same company or there's uh, some mutual agreement that these know. are all delicious? I am and assuming we put them... it's all the same company. Yeah, I think it's pretty based close, on yeah. munchies. Okay. Is that your go-to? Mm. Or are you just like munchies? Oh, I love them, yeah. Okay. I'm also a big fan of, like, I normally like, um, I'm a huge fan of Real cheese, Ooh. but my weakness is that fake yellow nacho cheese. Oh, the dip that you dip. Yeah, that stuff's oh my word. Looking, mm, it looks like it. it's gonna mess That's you. So up. good. Mm -hmm. Okay, question. Yeah. Um, does ice cream count in sure. this? Sure. Okay, yeah, great. Totally. Ice cream is my answer. What kind though? Oh, um, you know, lately I've been on a uh, chocolate and peanut butter kick. So okay. Chocolate ice cream with mm. peanut butter swirls in there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you throw like Reese's in there? I should. Madison that does that. Sounds. She keeps chocolate in the fridge magical. so she can crumble it into ice cream. That's mm. so smart. <laughs> Shout out Madison. Yeah. <laughs> She's right out there. <laughs> Shout out. Probably crumbling. Yeah. No. Chocolate. As soon as you said. Actually, yeah. She did say she was going to be eating ice cream. Yes. So. Nice. <laughs> what helped me uh, decide that ice was when you said you're going to sit down and watch The Office for two hours. Yeah. Eating. And I was like, it's ice cream. So are you the kind of guy you get the pint? Oh, you just eat straight. Throw out the away top. the lid. Oh yeah, you're not a quitter. I'm not. Well, I have I have yet to eat a whole, like. Wait, when you say pint, like the little Ben and Jerry's, no, like or a, the big thing, like a okay. pint. Come on, we're talking. <laughs> I, metric is confusing to me. <laughs> okay, that's a half pint usually. Okay, right, like Ben and Jerry's. 
I don't know. Or is that I don't a know how size. What I don't know size. You know, like a normal tub of ice cream. Yeah, a normal tub of ice cream. Yeah. It usually takes two or three tries to down that thing. Okay. <laughs> Which is still not quitting. Are you lactose intolerant? I am not. Okay, good. Um, and I love it. Good. It's legit. Like if you stop eating dairy, at least for me, uh-huh. then you develop it. Yeah, because you know, I went. I, I had think, a season when I didn't really? eat any dairy for like three okay. years, two two years maybe in college. Got, now I, I can know. barely drink milk without. I, I don't know issues. if it can be like circumstantial too or anything like that. Like I ate, eat. I've never quit eating ice quit eating ice cream. Right. Because that's not something you quit. Right. Um, if you do, I'm questioning your sanity. Um, but <laughs> milk. Can you just like? It does things to a man sometimes. It does. I can't just drink a glass I, of it. I. I've noticed if I ingest more milk, I'm having more problems. Yeah. Yep. But ice cream, I've never seen any problems with it. So. That's true. So, unless awesome. there's something in ice cream, but I don't know. Yeah. yeah. That's a good question. Mm-hmm. Austin, you got a snack? I think so. Yeah. This is more like holiday specific, but Ooh, I'm I would into it. Make uh, it's like a, a snack mix with my mom. It's a, you a, make the snack mix. Yes. Oh. So it's it's a bunch of different cereals. So you take pretzels. And then you take like rice checks and oh, and Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, buddy. I know. Okay, what? hit me with the recipe. Yes. Tell wait, me what wait, 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 wait. What is this magical it's thing? So it's so good, dude. We gotta make it. Yeah, we Worcestershire do. sauce and your rice checks, dude. Okay, yep. just keep yep. describing. Yep. Yeah, come and on. Like, okay, what, what's the other two? With Cheerios. Yeah. Okay. And another one we used to get, and I can't remember what they were like hexagonal little slightly sweetened wheat things. Oh, and they had that little like Tasmanian devil monster on the box. Can't remember. Yeah. But honeycombs, ooh! I don't ooh. think we ever done that one. That I never be really did either. Good. We never put anything sweet in there though. No Cheerios no. in ours. Well, not not like just like plain Cheerios. I know, but even okay. then we didn't. Okay. okay, okay. So this is good. So then you mix yeah. it in a sauce, right? Yes. What you and like Worcestershire sauce? Yeah, really. Yeah, with that and a little bit of butter, and I can't I can't remember. It's been a it while. It smells so good, but it's so amazing. You bake it then. Yes, and then you bake it. Yeah, so you put it on there and you put it in a tray and bake it. And then it's this amazing, like, mm, just a nibbly food that's so good. Yeah. Like, it's like, you know, regular Chex Mix, right? From right. the store. Mm-hmm. It's but like better. that, but way better. Really? Yeah. It's like what that's supposed to be, but then okay. they started mass producing it and it's garbage. Gotcha. It's so good. It's salty. It's got that flavor from the Worcestershire sauce, however you pronounce that sauce. Yeah. I think we all probably say it differently. I say Worcestershire. I've heard Worcester too. Worcester doesn't make a lot of sense. Isn't there another syllable? Isn't it Worcestershire? Worcestershire? Yeah. Well, it's probably like some. Like, have you ever seen English words? How confusing they are. Yeah, like it sounds like the name of a pub somewhere that I could. (laughs) Like, I I would not be surprised if it's just Worcestershire, or even Worcester. Yeah. Yeah. But there's crazy the Shire at the end. I know. It turns it into the Hobbit all of a sudden. But anyways, (laughs) you have like, dude, it's so good. We gotta make some. It smells your whole house up with this delicious. My dad used to make it when I was a kid. I haven't made it in years. Sounds magical. It's so good. It's amazing. You can make a sweet version too that's got chocolate in it. Uh, so you do, yeah, you mix it all in some sort of a chocolate you make. Like it's like a chocolate bark and mm-hmm. then you sprinkle it with powdered sugar. So you have these like little lumps of Ooh. it. So you make it into Wait, almost like cookies. Is that like Muddy Buddies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Muddy yeah. Buddies oh, are awesome. Oh, yes. Yeah. Those yeah. are so good. So good. Yep. Those are really good. <laughs> Great snack food. Mm-hmm. Snacks. I'm hungry now. Yep. Yeah. We should end the show. Yep. <laughs> I'm, Get some dude, snacks. Let's make some of that though. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> yeah. It's delicious. It's old school. Yeah. Fantastic. That'll be Sweet. Christmas episode, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, do, let's like, do we that. Snack. We should definitely have some festive-themed episodes as the holidays yeah. are coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a couple um, more weeks till Christmas, yeah. man. That's crazy. We could mm-hmm. have an ugly sweater episode. <gasps> <Ooh>. Josh, <laughs> yes. I'm feeling all this. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I got to put in some effort now. Uh, thanks right. for wa- thanks for joining us yeah, this week. That it. was really mm-hmm. fun, Josh. I'm so glad you're here and yes, alive. We are good really to good. go. Lane, uh, I promise you the truck is okay. Yep. I give you my full assurance. Shout out to Lane. And Elise and Drew and yeah. Scott and Greg, yeah, uh, everybody, everybody else that's helped out. Um, mm-hmm. We appreciate all of you for watching. Um, our giveaway is happening. Um, yeah. So like, by are by we, the time are we you watch to this, announce, are we just announcing winners on Facebook? We'll announce it on Facebook, okay, but because cool. um, we haven't picked them yet. But right. <laughs> today, being Sunday, we are picking winners. And uh, so by the time this airs. People will know if they've won or not. I'm really, yeah, for, I, I for one am I excited am actually about it. surprised by how many people want. Yeah. Swirly Whirly Dervishes. I know. I think and Dallas then, is probably a lock for Smurf Bite because yeah. I don't think anyone else said that. I think I saw Joe liked the post. I don't know if he shared it. He got, he didn't, he didn't Joe. go on that. Joe, man. You're not getting Smurf Bite. I don't know. Probably. We'll see. I don't know yeah. how we're going to determine winners, honestly. It's tough. Yeah. I, I'm probably just going to make a little Python script that's yep. just going to pick random <laughs> oh, people. Oh, nice. I knew it. 
Uh, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> my thought was just drawing names out of a hat. That would work Python too. script I mean, sounds more techy. <laughs> but if yeah. you could code is it something. drawing names out of a hat on a computer, basically? It's, yeah, yeah. Okay. exactly. That's mm-hmm. exactly what it is. So exactly. Computer draws it out of the hat. Nice. Um, but if you would like to check this podcast out elsewhere, you could go to Google Play Music or Apple Podcasts, and you will find us there. Uh, also, our website, jeffandjosh.net, where you can check out our episodes and click on that little store icon if you'd like to buy a shirt um mm-hmm. i don't think they stock that caribbean blue color anymore on no. the supplier so i think i'm gonna have to take that listing down because i am out of caribbean, the caribbean blue man that was a popular shirt. one it's a, well i didn't sell any but it is popular <laughs> um it must have been yeah i don't think they make it anymore huh. anvil does gotcha. so That's i'll stock sad. some all other colors i just put in an order for more shirts Ooh, so i got some more colors some pinks some dark grays nice. um and we'll have some more designs up there too so nice. um should be good so yeah check that out on also store.jeffandjust.net we'll get you there if you're mm-hmm. interested um but other than that uh it's been great i've really so great. enjoyed this episode it's thank you fun. colin for allowing us to yeah uh, read your chat logs. We do appreciate Shout you. Shout out to and Colin. You. You're great. Yes. So um, it's been good. Yeah, it's been yeah. good. Thanks for joining us, and we will be here next time. Mm-hmm. Be the snack yeah. you be want the- to see in the world. <laughs> Call more 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that kind of the goal sometimes? <laughs> to be <laughs> Colin when he was single as a Pringle, he just needed to be the snack. He did need to be the snack, but he's no longer single as a Pringle. Exactly. <laughs> Shout out to Colin. <laughs> Great. That was good. Are we ever mm-hmm. going to have Colin actually on the podcast, or is it just Mystery question. Colin Theater and then cooking with Colin? I actually thought fishing. about calling him today to see if he wanted to come on. I don't he's think he's not here. here. Uh, but I think it's more funny if he's just never on. Never on.